first time tonight, the public gets to see what a rail station may look like along the proposed Cotton Belt commuter line. Planners are working to begin operating the 26-mile-long rail project in 2022. Our Jack Fink is live at DeWitt Perry Middle School in Carrollton, where an open house will be held tonight. Jack? Gilma, this meeting starts here at 6.30, and 2022 may sound like a long way off, but if you really think about it, it's just over four years from now. Now, this rail line is set to start in southeast Plano and extend southwest to Terminal B at DFW International Airport. And while this is a very early in the process, we do have the first renderings of what rail stations may look like. And in addition to the stations themselves, people will be able to see where they are and how they will fit into the neighborhoods around them. 7,000 people are expected to ride the Cotton Belt line each day when it starts service. That number is set to climb to more than 12,000 in 2040. Right now, the federal government is conducting an environmental impact review, which DART is expecting approval of this April. One of the things DART will consider is the impact on those who will live near the existing rail line. Uh, there are going to be some places probably where we need to have some walls. There are going to be some things we can do with trees. Uh, we've been doing some sound measurements, and, and the community is aware of that. Now, the project is slated to cost $1.1 billion. The DART board recently gave the go-ahead on this project and on adding a second line to the DART rail line in downtown Dallas. Again, the meeting here starts at 6.30 at the DeWitt Perry Middle School. We're live in Carrollton. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.